Good afternoon, and welcome to episode 535. And the topic today is compassion and forgiveness get you out of jail. Yes, gonna. It's a Sunday talk. This is a Sunday talk, hence the casual attire. Um, and we'll get into that in a moment. Before I, before I jump into the topic, which I'm already ruminating over, let me introduce myself and tell you who I am and what I'm about so you know why you might want to listen. Um, <laughs> my name is Barry Selby. I am a best selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And I help strong, successful women create and find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine. And every day for almost two years now, I do these talks called Messages from the Masculine to inspire your feminine heart. And this is a Facebook Live that goes to YouTube in case you're watching it there, and I'll tell you all the links later on. So today we're at, up to episode number 535. It's getting up there. Um, right, right up there, yes. Um, the topic today is compassion and forgiveness will get you out of jail. And to put it bluntly, no, I won't do it that way. It's Sunday, it'll be nice. Um, <laughs> um, in simple terms, in simple terms, if you don't do what I'm about to advise you of, you're going to find yourself limiting your ability to love, to receive love, and to be free, hence feeling like you're in jail. So the jail I'm using is a metaphor. I'm not saying really in jail, not going into that whole legal professional type stuff. I'm speaking more about the metaphorical, metaphysical, no, metaphysical, metaphorical and um, experiential, experiential feeling about the fact you've been in prison somehow energetically. That I hope makes sense. For example, if you're carrying around some serious resentment about past relationship, maybe even with a parent, yes, even with a parent from when you were younger, about how they mistreated you and you are still judging and resenting and upset about them, or upset um upset about what they did to you, let me qualify that, what you're really doing is imprisoning yourself. Because when you're upset about something somebody else did, where's the upset? It isn't in them, it's in it isn't in them, it's in you. That is self flagellation, that's self abuse, that's self recrimination. And that's the prison you that's the jail you're putting yourself in. So if somebody else, some other person, be it parent, be it your ex-relationship, be it your sibling, be it anybody, does something to you. Now, I'm not going to cause corrective action at this point. I'm speaking more about the, the feeling you carry after the event is over. Because it sometimes sounds so woo-woo or spiritual to say, it's okay to forgive right away and get over it. Maybe like Jesus did in the Bible or something like that, you know, Sunday quoting. But the truth is simpler than that, is that you will, as a human being, experience pain or wounding or upset or hurt feelings, whatever that is, and may feel judgments on top of that. Now, the feelings you feel are pretty much authentic, as long as you don't milk them and drag them out forever, because some people, no names mentioned, um, you wouldn't know them anyway, have a habit of prolonging the pain and suffering to make people feel guilty about what happened, which is really messed up. However, you may be carrying judgments and prejudice against somebody else for what they did. Now, some of it may be justified. Not to say that you should carry it forever, but to carry a sense of righteousness in a way, or to feel that what they did to you was wrong, can lead you to do something to course correct that. However, if you spend the whole time after that event sitting in, living in, immersed in, self pity, recrimination, judgment, self judgment, like how did it happen to me, why did it happen to me, that sort of stuff, um, guilt and even resentment, all of that is on you. Meaning not, let no, me no, qualify this before you jump at me, react to me on that one. It's all on you, meaning you're carrying it. None of that affects the other person directly. Yes, if you told them it might, but if you're carrying around this resentment, upset feelings after, like for example, okay, let me give you an example. You go through a bad breakup in a relationship. And after that relationship, because they cheated on you, they abused you, and they were drunk all the time. Let's, let's, let's stack the deck completely. And they kicked you out, and you're really upset. Now, upset for a period of time is okay to have. But if, if it's now four years later, 
and is still carrying, and I mean this seriously, carrying judgments, resentment, guilt, upset feelings, hurt, prejudice, righteousness about the other person, that is weight you're carrying unnecessarily. That's the jail you're putting yourself into. There are 17 other options I can give you, or 17 other examples I can give you, but that should give you the, the understanding how I mean this thing. I mean this in the sense that after the event's over and you're still prolonging the agony inside of you because somehow you feel like you must do that because otherwise you'll forget somehow that they did something bad to you. Not true. But the temptation is that by, by beating yourself up again and again and again, somehow it won't happen to you again. Also not true. In fact, truth be told, since I'm talking about truth, if you hold a prejudice against somebody else, sorry, somebody in the past for abusing you, that energetic you're carrying around can be something that attracts the same thing again in the future. So you don't want to carry that around. That wounding, that suffering, that hurt you're carrying around doesn't help you now or in the future, even happened in the past. So my um, advice, my recommendation, my encouragement, my, my counsel, my coaching to you is to investigate, because you may not have the skills for this, but to investigate how you can use compassion and forgiveness in your own life to let yourself off the hook and let yourself out of jail. The judgments you placed against yourself, the resentment you carry, the guilt you carry, all those things can be forgiven. The feelings of unworthiness, the feelings of, of retribution, the feelings of being wounded can be healed with compassion. So compassion and forgiveness are two tools I highly recommend you do in your own life you use in your own life and you use as means to free yourself from the jail you put yourself into I'm deciding on it sorry I'm at a crossroads in my in my uh, thought process as I mentioned at the beginning I mentioned early on this scenario this experience could tie to past relationships and also tie to your relationships to your parents, one or the other the parents, or a sibling, or an, an uncle, or a relative, or an aunt, or somebody who may have done something wrong to you, that you're feeling, feeling um, distressed and upset by 20 years later. It doesn't help you to keep doing that. It doesn't hurt them either. So if you do, it doesn't help you, it doesn't hurt them, what's the point? That's the jail you put yourself into. So again, forgiveness and compassion to apply to the beliefs and to the feelings will allow you to have a freeing yourself from that jail you put yourself into. A couple of things I'll say, in fact, I'm going to put links in the comments because I usually do that. Um, compassion, a lot of times, comes out of self-love. And in fact, I'm going to put into the comments uh, in, in there the links to those. So the self-love practice that I keep talking about, I offer it, I sell it, people use it, it works for them, is a simple way to start building up your self-compassion. Because self-compassion, as well as self-forgiveness, again, self for each, because when you use self-forgiveness and self-compassion, they help yourself feel better. So I'll put a link in the comments to the self-compassion, but it's basically the self-love practice, which I can recommend highly. I'm also going to put a link in the comments of sign up for a discovery session with me. I've got, I'm doing a holiday special right now. I'm not going to tell you about it here. I just sent my email list that yesterday. Um, but if you want to find out more, I can, I'll put a link in the comments. You can sign up for a discovery session. I'll tell you about those then. But it's a, it's a, an invitation to go a little deeper, a little quicker, a lot less expensively. <laughs> put it that way. But I won't have. I don't have a link for it. It's all. It's a uh, um, by email. So I'll put a link in the comments to sign up for that for this conversation, so you can talk about that. Um, but simply this: have compassion for yourself, forgive yourself, let yourself off the hook, let yourself out of jail. You deserve better than you've been giving yourself permission for. It's time you free yourself from the trap. That's your Sunday freedom. Freedom. Um, that really is about the bottom line I want to share. This is something I'm very passionate about, as you may have guessed. It's what I talk about quite often. That's why this is number 535 in a series of talks on Facebook Live, because I do this every day. Because my journey, my support, my, my, my message is to help you feel better, to enjoy life better, to have better relationships, to love more, to be loved more, and have more joy in your life. So with that, I'm signing off. A couple of quick reminders before I do, do, do though. Um, 5 p.m. Pacific time every day, so tomorrow, same time. It is Messages to the Masculine. That'll be number 536. There's <laughs> so many of these out there. But these are on my YouTube channel. Sorry, on my Facebook page first, then onto my YouTube channel, and then onto my podcast. I'll give you the links for those. 
So watching my replays of my Facebook Lives, you can find them on my business page, which is barryselby.author. They go live on my personal page first, then my business page. And then also onto my YouTube channel. And the channel is Barry Selby, same as all my social media. And you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. And there's a playlist on there called Messages for the Masculine. So you can watch those there. And finally, I've got a podcast which I'm building out slowly, which is where the replays of these go as well, the audio versions. If you go to iTunes and look for Messages from the Masculine, it's a podcast, which is mine. You can subscribe to the podcast and download the broadcast there to listen to when you're driving, riding, whatever you're doing, when you can't look at the screen. Um, again, I'll put the links in the comments for the self-love practice and for discovery sessions. So you can sign up for that if you wish. And my invitation to you is to actually turn the key, unlock the door, and let yourself out of jail once and for all. There's no point carrying it around because it doesn't help you or anybody else. So please, take care of yourselves. I'll see you again tomorrow again, 5 p.m. Pacific time as usual. And I invite you to be um, gentler with yourself. All right, take care. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.